Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about something that's annoying as heck, how to unpop your ears when they feel clogged up. Now, to understand that, you kind of have to understand what all is happening in an ear. And for that, I have this model. Let's take a look. This is the part of the canal that you can get to. It's the external auditory canal. And unless there's a blockage in there, such as earwax or a foreign body, this probably isn't the reason that you have a sense of fullness in the ear. One exception is swimmer's ear. Usually that's painful, but if you've had a lot of exposure to water and you just feel like you can't pop your ears, you probably need a doctor to look at the external auditory canal and see if there's some form of inflammation. Next comes the eardrum, and that forms a complete seal to the outside world. And usually, when you feel like you need to pop your ears, there's something going on in this area called the middle ear. Now, two things can happen here. There can be increased or decreased air pressure, or there can be a fluid collection or pus collection. The air pressure usually occurs when you're changing elevation or altitude rapidly, such as in a tall elevator or an airplane or even mountain climbing or skiing and what happens is there's this tube that connects the middle ear to the inside of the nose. It's called the eustachian tube and if it gets blocked up for some reason air can't pass and the pressure can't equalize. That pulls on or pushes on the eardrum and that makes it feel like you can't hear. Sometimes it can even cause pain and discomfort. The idea is to try and move air in or out of this canal. The easiest and least dangerous way to do that is to yawn or chew or clench your jaw. That pulls on these tissues in the eustachian tube, helps open the tube up and move air in or out. That's why chewing gum on an airplane is something people sometimes recommend. If you have an infant or baby, they might want to suck on a bottle or chew on some sort of chewy snack as long as it's not a choking risk and you can talk to your doctor about what those choking risks might be. Now, if you've tried to introduce air that way, some people will hold their nose and try and force a little bit of air up into the eardrum or pull air out of the eardrum. That's a more dangerous thing to do. You can introduce fluid and infection into the eardrum that way. And hypothetically, you could actually do damage to the eardrum, although it doesn't rare, it, it occurs pretty rarely in real practice. Now, if all that popping isn't working, you may have a fluid collection in here. That may be a result of a cold or allergies, or it may be an actual ear infection. That needs the attention of a doctor. If you have a bacterial ear infection, you may benefit from antibiotics. If it seems to be a result of a cold or allergies, there may be other medicines that help unclog this eustachian tube. You may find that one or two doses of a nose spray like Afrin helps clear up the tube as well, or for children over age six or adults, a dose or two of an anti uh, of a decongestant such as uh, pseudoephedrine, Sudafed. For children under age six, we really don't recommend any of the over-the-counter cold medicines anymore. So, talking about how to unclog a stopped-up ear, I'm Dr. David Hill.